My field of research is uh, precisely neuropsychopharmacology, you know, and uh, what uh, I am expecting from such congress, and I know that uh, it's always uh, the same for each congress each year, uh, what can I can expect, and which in fact uh, is uh, fully satisfied, is uh, multidisciplinary aspects of the research. So you have basic research, you have clinical research, you have also cognitive now uh, science, uh, which is underway, and uh, with a lot of presentation here. So uh, what we call uh, translational research, which permits, in fact, uh, very fruitful exchanges between basic scientists and clinicians. And so for me, uh, who is a basic scientist, uh, it provides a lot of very interesting and fascinating uh, information, I would say, uh, for my own field, for my own knowledge, but also as a teacher, in fact, to transmit all these things, uh, not only looking at the basal functioning of the neurons or the brain, but also what are the consequences of disorders and how can we deal uh, with these disorders by appropriate treatments and what is the progress for the treatments. So it's really a unique place to, to get all this information, really. This is my belief, but uh, I think it's true for all of people attending here. I said already that uh, the multidisciplinary effect, uh, aspect is uh, absolutely a key regarding uh, the progress in the knowledge of the brain functioning, uh, uh, what is going on in the brain with disorders and so on. But uh, ECNP has, uh, in fact, uh, so the character of ECNP is really the exchange between basic or, I mean, scientists from the public area, uh, public agency, research agency, and also the industry. So, and, uh, so in my case, you know, uh, for the 40 years of my the life of my lab, in fact, I had the fortune to collaborate with the industry, many, several companies. And I would say that uh, it's really thanks to this collaboration that a lot of uh, achievements have been uh, made in my lab. So really, uh, this uh, close relationship, close collaboration between the public research and research in the industry uh, is a key to really progress, and especially uh, for improving health, mental health uh, in, the, in the population. I would say most of them, you know, and uh, especially the plenary lectures are extremely interesting, but uh, by, uh, because they are given by uh, prestigious speakers. So we had yesterday already uh, John Crystal, uh, who is the person who set up, in fact, new treatments for depression, extremely uh, a, new, a new advance, considerable progress, I would say, in the treatment of depression, because we know that antidepressant drugs, for instance, uh, uh, have to be uh, provided to the patients for at least three or four weeks to get a significant effect, which is not the case with new treatments setting up, but set, which had been set up by uh, John Crystal, namely with ketamine, you know, and uh, so it's a very fascinating field which is open uh, by such findings. So we will have uh, also uh, a very interesting uh, progress uh, presented by uh, so the speaker this afternoon about the neuroimaging techniques uh, to, uh, in fact, know exactly what is going on in the brain uh, in Alzheimer's disease and other, in other neurodegenerative diseases. All, all these uh, findings are really fascinating, you know, and uh, uh, so each year I am going there. I am very much impressed by the progress in this uh, in the knowledge of the brain thanks to these people and also the new techniques. My lab, in fact, uh, has a life, uh, had a life of about 40 years, as I mentioned in the title of my talk. So that means that uh, maybe 200 or 300 people came there in my lab during uh, this uh, long time period. And uh, what I will do is uh, to uh, focus on so the main neurotransmitter that uh, was studied in my lab, namely serotonin. And uh, we did a lot regarding uh, the targets of serotonin, so serotonin receptors. And we developed specially new tools, which allows the visualization of the receptors uh, at the level of brain areas, at the level of cells, at the subcellular level. And uh, all these uh, data, in fact, uh, allows 
uh, allow further investigation regarding the functions and the roles and uh, what happens to the receptor in brain disorders, uh, psychiatric and neurologic disorders. What is absolutely essential is to be highly motivated. So for me, you know, and uh, during my whole career, uh, research was present in my mind all the time. You know, except maybe sometimes during night when I was sleeping. But otherwise, I would say that uh, all the weekends and so on, I was always thinking to uh, new uh, investigations, new uh, protocols, uh, new ideas and so on, to integrate uh, new information from the literature and move on with new ideas and so on. And uh, I would say that uh, it's a very privileged uh, situation to be a researcher uh, because you are free uh, regarding uh, the directions you wish to take and uh, you decide yourself uh, from all the information you get from the literature for the exchange with people and so on where you wish to go and uh, so when you have of course the means all the, the techniques available and in your lab you, you can go to do the experiments and uh, to, to in fact progress and for me it's it has been really a fantastic uh, life i would say regarding achievement research and what is the, uh, the pleasure you can get uh, with such achievements. So motivation first, you know, if you are motivated, you will get a lot of reward and a lot of pleasure, which is my case. So I guess that I hope that uh, it will be the same for uh, all the young people who are there.